here we are at Dismal Niche, one of the last stops of the Lewis and Clark expedition as they finally met their goal of reaching the Pacific Ocean. About five miles down the Columbia River was their final Westwood campsite at Station Camp. But they had a severe storm come up and they decided to come here. And as the storm came in, they became marooned here. There were there were immense waves caused by the storm and the treacherous waters kept them from paddling around the point of land. And William Clark described their situation as dangerous. And it's a word that he only used for the worst of times. They stayed here a while, a couple days, and then they were able to paddle down to what they called station camp. Down that way. And we are in Washington now. We're having a beautiful day. A little chilly, it's like 65 and there's a slight breeze, but uh, the sun is out and anytime the sun's out, that's a good day. One other thing I wanted to tell you about the dismal niche was this storm was apparently horrendous. And they, they couldn't move for six days. And there wasn't very much room for them to even move where they were. Clark sent men into the forest, or at least sent them there, in order to possibly find some game for them so they'd have food to eat. But the forest was so thick and the underbrush was so horrible the, the hunters couldn't get through, so they couldn't hunt. Clark did some fishing and actually caught three fish. The men were able to catch some fish, and so they did have some food, not enough and it was raining and their clothes were worn out and their provisions were about gone and it was a miserable time they were afraid that they wouldn't make it to their destination and they would be so close and then fail i mean they were that they you can imagine how upset they were and depressed the storm finally subsided and they were able to move down the Columbia River to safer area.